What's up top 10 fam, hope you're having an awesome day, I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video. Now back into people's screwed up subconscious we go, and yes the plural of subconscious is subconscious, not subconsciouses or subconsci, I thought it was the former to be fair, I mean admit your faults people. But enough of that, you guys already know what this video is since you clicked on it, these are the top 10 scary people only seen in dreams part 2. Now starting us off with number 10 is the choking, this one's from redditor a river acre who said he had this dream or sleep paralysis event when he was in college. When his eyes opened, the room was in complete darkness except the small bit of light coming from under the door from the hallway. He was finding it really hard to breathe for some reason and then his heart sank as he heard someone breathing really heavily near him and then he realized someone was staring at him from the corner of the room. Now initially he thought it was his roommate so he was like what the hell, how is he even awake right now? He tried to keep his own breathing steady as this other breathing he could hear got loud louder and closer. Now the figure in the corner started laughing hysterically in a demonic distorted kind of fashion. The user tried to scream or yell but he just had no voice, he couldn't move, couldn't speak, it was just a common case of sleep paralysis really. As he continues staring at the figure in the corner he sees it jump onto his roommate who's in his own bed and tear him limb from limb. He couldn't even look away, he was just fixated on his roommate being shredded to pieces and all he could hear was him choking on his own blood blood as the figure started eating him. Imagine hearing your best friend choking on their own blood and all you can do is watch. The user tried to jolt himself awake properly or throw himself off his bed but he just couldn't do it. When the figure was done eating his friend, he made his way to the user with his bloody bony fingers. The figure started licking his cheek as he screamed obscenities into his ear and then he woke up properly or he got eaten, it's a 50-50. Coming in at number 9 are the Dementors, now this one honestly made me feel a type of way, like I needed a minute just to process this one afterwards. Shared by an anonymous reddit user, she said she had a dream where she was asleep within her dream, like she was trying to fall asleep in her dream and as soon as she started dozing off, she started hearing a faint whispering all around her. She assumed her parents were talking in their bedroom or something but then realised she could feel the breath of these whispers on her face. Hence they were coming from inside her room. She opened her eyes and saw these black floating figures which could only be described as the Dementors from Harry Potter honestly. They were whispering the word death while floating around her except they all had faces of people she loved, friends, siblings, even her own parents. One by one, the Dementors rose above her and started piercing her with this large fang or tooth. And as they did, they would let out the most high pitched scream before fading into the fang and into the girl's body. Body. and every time they did it, it was this excruciating pain that she just couldn't describe. Even in the dream it felt all too real. Now after 5 demented creatures did this, she thought she literally couldn't take it anymore and was about to die and then she finally woke up. Oh. At number 8 we have The Smile, now this one's from an anonymous person who said one night they were suffering from sleep paralysis and they woke up feeling really off. They couldn't move but it wasn't that that was getting to them, it was just this feeling of pure dread. Now imagine all the anxiety attacks in the world bottled up into a jar and put into your stomach that's how it felt. The person felt like time didn't exist, like they didn't even exist. They looked towards their bedroom door and saw the 7 feet tall figure just standing there. The person wasn't ghostly looking or hollow or anything, it was just a normal person. Now the user remembered every single detail of what the person was wearing, black Doc Martin boots, blue jeans, a puffy jacket, which just didn't make sense since it was summer and hot as hell, but the creepiest part was the person couldn't see the man's face at all. No matter how hard they concentrated they just couldn't see his face. But then they realised it was because he had no face, it was just featureless. There was a dark void where his face should have been and they both just stared at each other for a minute before the figure took a step forward and the person just fainted. Complete KO. I don't even understand how they knew they were staring because they didn't have eyes. But anyway, they didn't wake up for another 6 hours and mind you they had had a full night's sleep when they saw the figure so they didn't just go back to sleep, they full on passed out. Filling our number 7 slot is the exorcism of Reacher. So this one's from Suavda Tripathi who said she has a bit of a hyperactive imagination and this dream happened shortly after she watched the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose. One night she dreamed her and her friend Reacher were walking towards a building to go to its roof. Reacher starts going up the steps and her body starts twitching weirdly and Suvadra asks her what's up and Reacher just starts running up the stairs and Suvadra just can't keep up. When she finally gets to the top, Reacher has her back to her and she calls out to her. 
Richa turns around suddenly very pregnant and helpless. Before Suvadra could say anything to her, Richa's body suddenly jerked and she started bending backwards just like Emily does in the film and if you haven't seen it, consider yourself lucky. Richa was screaming as she was bending and she was trying to reach out and grab Suvadra but she just couldn't reach. She started shouting for Suvadra to help her but it wasn't her voice, it was some deep, evil, distorted voice and now her face was contorted and savage as well. So she was a mix of pure evil and helplessness. As Suvadra finally reached her, Richa's back went fully backwards, basically piercing her pregnant belly with her spine. She then somehow moved while in that position and then jumped off the roof of the building. Suvadra screamed and ran to the edge but then woke up in bed screaming in real life. She was sweating buckets and hyperventilating and after that she felt she should just hold off on scary movies. Honestly I cried while watching that movie and then I didn't watch another horror movie for like 3 years. So I get it Suvadra, I get it. That movie? No no. Now at number 6 is The Devil Within. I feel like sometimes we dream of ourselves doing we would never do in real life. Like sometimes when I'm dreaming, I know I'm dreaming, so I'm just like, hey, let's just enjoy the ride, see what I get up to. <laughs> but other people, I mean, they have different things in mind. And this one comes from Redditor Cozy138, who said he dreamed he had run away from home and was walking through dunes of snow that were five feet high. The user hid behind one of these snowbanks as he looked back at his family and saw they were all smiling around a fire, all happy, clearly not caring about the fact he had just run away. He then ran towards a bunch of shops in this plaza area and saw a grill that had a wire brush next to it to clean it. At this point it was midnight and he saw his little brother come out of one of the stores so he suddenly decided to take the wire brush and beat him with it. He kept beating him till bits of the wire started tearing his brother's skin off and he just kept doing it till a huge chunk of the middle of his face was straight up gone. He then used the wire to choke him to the point they both fell on the ground and the user was just crying while strangling his brother with this wire. When he finally died and wow he sure took a freaking beating before he did, the user woke up and was just like, what the hell? Guys, trust no one, not even yourself, clearly. Coming in at number 5 is The Clown. Now this one came from Hannah Toda who said in her dream she was in the middle of a deserted wonderland. Dead trees were surrounding her, her boots were 60 centimeters deep in snow and in the distance she spotted a cottage. She suddenly lost control of her legs as they carried her towards this eerie cottage. She started getting more and more anxious and worried and then she saw the clown. It had red glowing eyes that pierced through her and its grin showed its teeth which were knives on their own like legit tiny little knives and mind you the clown was small yet her legs still took her to it and that's when she felt the pain. Its teeth shredded through her flesh tearing it open and all of a sudden everything just went black. Hannah woke up in her room but she couldn't move, her back was high in the air and the pain where she'd been bitten was still very much there and very much real. She tried to get her back back on the bed but it went up again. She lost control of her body like she had sleep paralysis but tried to talk her way out of it in her own head. She eventually got her body in back to calm down and woke up for real and then couldn't get back to sleep for 3 hours. Clowns man, they're an issue, they're a freaking issue, we have to get rid of them. This is a mission. At number 4 is the devil. I feel like that's someone that appears in many people's dreams. Like I don't think I've ever dreamt about him personally but I know so many people that have. And sadly reddit user Walla Bing Bang is one of them. She had a dream that she met this really hot guy and fell completely in love with him. Isn't that the dream for all of us? Isn't that all what we want? Anyway it turns out the guy's actually the devil and he tells her that she's dreaming but she will bear his child on earth. She looks down and sees she's 8 months pregnant and begins to cry as he forces her to do things she has no control over. She can't control her mind or her body, it just does what it's told. Almost like when someone's in a coma but their mind is awake and can hear everything that's going on. Just like that. Even though I'm not her but I'm pretty sure that's how she felt. Either way she starts crying because it all seemed way too realistic and then a week later in the dream she asks to shower. He lets her and when she's in there she reckons the only way to end this turmoil is to kill herself. But no matter how many times she slashes her wrists, no blood comes out. The devil then appears laughing at her and then takes a knife and cuts her stomach open and pulls her intestines out. And of course the other organs in there as well. He starts shouting at her and telling her torture will be her fate forever unless she follows through on keeping his child. But he just ripped her stomach open so I'm confused on how the baby or the girl is even alive 
alive at this point. And at that point, she wakes up crying, no tear in her stomach, but no nothing. But she remembers a voice whispering to her, telling her she's gonna wake up now and that a baby of hers will be born on August 23rd. I mean, this was posted six years ago, so if you did end up having that baby on that date, please let us know, because I feel like a devil child is something we should all be aware of. You know, just do us that solid. Thank you. Filling our number three slot is life. So this one comes from an anonymous person who said the worst dream she's had was to do with some sort of devil creature. The thing was red and black stereotypically and had huge teeth and it just came and sat on her as she slept. The devil was getting heavier and heavier and she was starting to suffocate and she legit thought she was gonna die. She couldn't scream or move but she finally woke up and real life was arguably worse. Now her husband told her something or some figure had been pressing on his chest trying to kill him and when he opened his eyes, it was his wife. Biggest plot twist of 2019 confirmed. Now at number two is the baby. I wish this was like a cute one, like honestly I think we need a break or maybe I do. Fortunately it is not, because otherwise it just wouldn't be on this list. It's a scary list. Either way, Reddit user Froom Loom said they had a dream where a baby had been left on their doorstep and instead of taking it to the hospital or some adoption agency or keeping it, they decided to cook it, as we all would. They cut it up and even though it was cut up, the head of the baby was screaming its lungs out. As the user put the baby in the pot and started boiling it, by some freak of nature the baby started reassembling itself very slowly. The user then put the baby in the oven and it somehow crawled out of the oven fully back together, bit the user's throat off and then they bled to death. Now I love how the baby went from being the victim in this story to being the killer. I don't want to say the user deserved it but they were about to eat a baby so I think they, they high key sort of did deserve it. No mercy. Eamon Savage moments. And finally, at number one are the Violet Eyes. So this person has had their fair share of sleep paralysis episodes, but they recall this one as being the worst, and I fully agree. The person woke up to the sound of someone chuckling and saw a man walk into their room and they were screwed up. I would use stronger language, but I can't. This is a PG channel. The figure had a demonic mask on that had boar fangs on it, twists on its cheeks, and violet serpent-like eyes that were just bulging out at him. Can you just imagine this monster? monstrosity that's just walked into this kid's room like God is save us all. He had a brown robe on as well with the hood over his head and then he put his burlap sack on the ground. One by one, he pulled out every single person this person ever loved, ever cared about, was friends with, and each time he put them right in front of them so that they'd make direct eye contact. It would then use its sharp nails to slit their throats and would make the person watch as blood poured from their throats. Imagine watching the life drain out of the eyes of every single person you care about. Like, I can't even imagine. After the bag was finally empty, the thing walked to his bed and stroked the person's face with his blood soaked hands. He then took off his mask, and I quote, I cannot honestly put into words what I saw beneath that mask. It was an ever changing face of horror. It twisted and squirmed and never remained still for long, and each facial reconstruction was more terrifying than the last. The last thing he said was, Your life will be mine and your soul as well. Then his face finally settled into one form the person's own face. Dun, dun, dun. And that's it for today's video guys. I honestly, I thought my nightmares were bad, but they literally pale in comparison to all these stories. Like how do people survive this and not wake up crying their eyes out? I can't. I probably would. Either way, let me know what you thought below. And as always, I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.